Hi guys, my name is Lisa and this is my son Renzo and today I'm going to be sharing with you a few weaning hacks that have helped us with our journey. Should we get started? Okay, so weaning tip number one is to use plastic bibs um, just to save all of your fabric bibs because they will get stained otherwise. So what we do is we use a plastic bib on Renzo. They're easy to wipe, easy to clean and they're also great for taking out when you're traveling as well. So really, really love using plastic bibs. My next tip is to use a heat sensitive spoon. Um, I use this with my first son. I also use this with Renzo and it's just perfect to make sure that the temperature is that ideal temperature it's not too hot for baby and um, when you're feeding them so you're not going to burn them while you don't get no hot spots when the spoon um, when the food is too hot the spoon will change color and when the food is at the correct temperature it will stay the same color so it's really really good to make sure that obviously the food is not too hot for baby to eat so. next we like to obviously protect our carpets and our floors when you're weaning it's very very messy so we like to use just an old sheet and we put it underneath Renzo's high chair and this is going to capture any of the food that goes gets thrown on the floor, spoons that get thrown on the floor and it's going to stop um, the floor getting stained. So we use a sheet but you could also use like a shower curtain, go and buy a shower curtain, that would be really nice and easy to wipe down or just a plastic mat and put it on the floor. So that has really helped to save our carpet. <laughs> Next up is to buy a self-adhesive hook and pop it on the back of the high chair. Now I don't know about you, but whenever I'm asking my husband to quickly grab me a bib, he never knows where to find them. He can never find anything. So for me, just find it, I find it so much easier just to pop a hook on the back of his high chair and I just hook on some of his bibs that I need to use and they're always there to hand them when I need them. Renzo's quite, um, he always wants to eat and he's very impatient so I always just need to make sure everything is around me um, when I need them so putting it on the back of the high chair is ideal. Jars and pouches are perfect um, for just days when you're having a bit of, um, you don't really fancy cooking or you've been in a rush. Um, also when you're traveling and things, they're really, really great. And there are so many different tastes, textures, um, sizes available. So I would really, really recommend them. We use them all the time and the flavors are really yummy too. Have plenty of baby wipes and kitchen rolled hand. Weaning is messy, so always make sure that you've got them tanned. I always make sure that I've got them laid out ready before I feed Renzo, so I haven't got to go and find them um, mid-feeding him or um, when we finish feeding. It's just so much easier to have them tanned already prepared before you start feeding. So definitely, definitely get lots of baby wipes. <laughs> And finally, I would just say join some online support groups. You can either join um, groups on your phone, like there's so many baby apps out there with forums and there, or like I said, an online support group. Um, and you can just talk to other parents that are going through the weaning journey also, sharing your, your tips, they can share tips with you, and you can also find lots of fab new recipes to try out too. So I hope you enjoyed this weaning hacks video and found some new tips to try. Um, good luck with your weaning journey if you're just starting it and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!